So what is cost segregation and uh, how can that help somebody uh, that makes a good amount of income uh, and, and, and how have you used it to benefit you? Well, so yeah, it's kind of funny. My, my account was opposite. He kept bringing it up to me, but the cost cool. of the report and the fact that I didn't feel he was explaining it to me that in the way that I understood, he didn't like get, he's not one of those guys going to guarantee everything, but cost okay. segregation. So as we know with regular real estate, and if we don't know with regular real estate, we're able to write off on a single family residence, Divide it by the purchase price by 27 and a half years. We're allowed to write off that amount. So if a house is, let's just use an easy number, um, $275,000, you can write off basically, what is that? $10,000 a year. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah $10,000 a year of depreciation. That's a loss on paper for the IRS for people. So against your income, you're losing $10,000 just because of the IRS's accounting rules, right? So cost segregation is accelerated depreciation where you basically get a tax consultant, an engineer to take your property, take all of the elements, the sidewalk, the doors, the windows, everything, the, the floors, every single thing besides what's in the walls that is going to break over the 39 and a half years or whatever it is for commercial. And you're gonna be able to take that upfront as a loss against your income and because of the cares act because of the cares act which is why people should be buying big time commercial real estate right now you can take that back as a loss and recover all the money you paid in the last five years in taxes so i got checks from the irs for three hundred thousand dollars this year from taxes i paid over the last five years because of cost segregation that's why people need to understand what it is so you can actually go back to yeah that's why you need to fire your accountant because you need to talk to my guy. I'm serious because my guy is the reason I'm successful. I have a great accountant, okay? And he brings a ton of value. He called me when that CARES Act passed. He's okay. like, Troy, the new CARES Act allows you, because there's always something hidden in those laws, right? He's yeah. like, it allows real estate investors to take a, a, a carry back loss. And cost segregation is, I, had a net, I made negative $229,000 last year which means that all the years I was positive that I paid taxes on, I can carry that loss backwards and recoup my tax money back. Wow, that's unbelievable. So the way I came across cost segregation is I bought a $4 million building and I bought it with owner financing Excellent. and I did a cost segregation study on it and it gave me a million dollar write-off, which basically offset my real estate income for a couple of years, which means that, like just so people understand if you make like let's say a million dollars a year and you get a write-off on depreciation a million dollars it wipes out that entire thing for federal purposes not state which means on federal taxes you wouldn't pay any income taxes now the big secret that troy's referring to is i used to always every i would always hear and i don't know if you heard the same thing real estate has tax benefits tax benefits and i would right. always wonder what right. the benefits were and I didn't understand it, but the tax benefits are depreciation basically, because the depreciation offsets the income that the property produces with accelerated depreciation. Not only can you offset the, the income of the property, but you can offset income from your business as well too, as long as you qualify as a real estate professional. I didn't know about the CARES right. Act, I'm glad. 65% of gross, I think is what the allowable is. There's mm -hmm. something on there. I'm actually gonna be doing a, uh, YouTube with my accountant because he's like I said he's a super bright guy he's a good yeah. friend of mine I've known him for a lot and he's made me hundreds of thousands of dollars by just giving me good advice and that's the thing is I've paid hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes in the REO days I wrote a check one year for like three or four hundred thousand dollars so yeah. yeah so like the fact that I could have eliminated that expense invested in real estate got cash flow and paid no taxes and and we're so naive because we don't teach this stuff in our schools and nobody knows about it. And you got to figure it out through the school of hard knocks or joining other clubs or meeting other smart guys like yourself. You know, it's like one of those things. Now, here's another one that you may not know about, and this might rock your world a little bit. OK, so let's say you do what I do and you buy these um, houses for cheap. Right. You buy them for 50 grand. Right. So you pay cash 50 grand. You buy it. You put money into it. So you're all in for 50 grand, but it's worth now 100. Right. Uh -huh. So you can, let's say you want to, you want to do a tax strategy and a legacy strategy at the same time. 
you have a cause that you care about. I don't know what it would be. Let's say for me, let's say it's veterans, right? You're going to say, this is my, this is my nonprofit. Okay. So, cause we know control and wealth building is everything and liability is owning nothing and controlling everything that, so the 5013 C in my activity, renting out a, a low income house, right? is a non-for-profit activity. So theoretically, if I wanted to, and I haven't done this yet, but theoretically, if I wanted to, I could donate my property that I paid for $50,000, that is appraised now for $100,000, to my non-for-profit, which is also owned and controlled by yours truly, and then I get a $100,000 tax credit for donating that property to my charity. And then a tax credit is different than a tax deduction, right? It's, like, it's sorry, tax. It's not a tax credit. It's a it's a tax deduction. It's a charitable it's a charitable donation up to a hundred thousand dollars. It's not going to be like a, it's not going to be as a credit. So you're yeah. not going to be receiving money back, but you would be receiving a credit for that donation of a hundred thousand dollars as a you know as charity. Yeah, it's interesting, Troy, because now what you're talking about is like the more advanced level because there's love there's different levels. You know, there's the level of buying your first investment property. Then it's growing the real estate portfolio. Then you're making all this money. Then you start thinking about what different tax strategies can you utilize to reduce that. And then you thinking about scaling and building legacy and how you're going to pass these properties on to, 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 to the family members.